right, this is the intro motif for Dirk Bentley Beers on Me. It's all about the uh, double stop bend. So you're gonna bend up the F sharp to a G sharp from two to three with the five on top, that B on top. So I'm bending from the 11th to the 13th fret with my ring finger and my pinky is just stationed on the 12th fret of the B string. And I'm plucking on uh, with my right hand middle and ring fingers. All right. And then I grab the six uh, on the E string, on the high E string. It's gonna be the ninth fret C sharp. All right, then release the bend, and then you're gonna drop down here. And this is where it really helps to have light gauge strings. Where did I put those things? So this is a nine to 42 gauge string set. I usually use 10 to 52 on Fender style instruments. Um, but coming down here, you, know, you, can, you can think of the A chord right there. You can think of the four chord in this key. So we're gonna bend from the B to the C sharp on that G string. It's gonna be the fourth fret B, bending up to the sixth fret C sharp while holding the fifth fret E on the B string. Then you're gonna release it. Uh, to the second fret A on the G string, and then you're gonna go to the first fret G sharp, bend up a half step, and then back down. And that's, that's the lick. Okay, there we go. Okay, uh, something else to note is a fixed bridge is really important for these country double stop bends because, let me show you what happens if you don't have that. So work out all right on a Bigsby style trim, but a Floyd or a standard strap styles trim will cause the note that's not bent to go flat. So I'll let you hear what that sounds like. You hear how that B is going flat? As I raise the uh, F sharp to the G sharp. We're causing more tension to be put on the bridge and the bridge comes this way a little bit toward the nut. And so that B goes flat. Now some players were, will uh, hold onto the trim arm or the bridge to kind of compensate for that. I find that to be kind of annoying. All right, and then you'll probably really hear it down here. So the E is going flat. All right, there's the E. So now I'll play it uh, a little slower a couple times and then we'll put a backing track at the end.